oh yes, when to get help, the rock climbing wall that you're like, oh man, I can't get up that wall. And then also the tax form where it's like, oh, I need help. Um, so yeah, there's lots of way to do it yourself in your financial life. Like I'm a big advocate of that. Like I, and I like as a financial planner, I love working with people who are doing it themselves and they just need a little extra help or they need like a second opinion. And I'm saying, am I doing this right? And I, I, you know, I usually find something that they're not doing right. And we optimize and we, you know, we get them to an even better place. So lots of ways to do it yourself. Um, but there, you know, there can definitely be times in your life when you need a little help or even when you need a lot of help. Um, many people seek out this type of help when they're in a time of transition, uh, like when you're getting married. Maybe you're marrying somebody that like has not as good financial acumen as you have, or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you need to kind of, you know, get it together together. And so you sit down with somebody and, and you know, you work through stuff that you're concerned about. If you're getting divorced, that's another time to like get help. Um, there are actually people who are certified divorce financial analysts. They have a specific skill set about that. Um, that's always something that intrigues me. Maybe if I need more credentials, I'll go for that one. Um, if you're starting a family um, or you're preparing to send your kids to college, that's another time when you might need some help with some, some planning or advice. Uh, career change. Maybe you're like, I'm going to give up this high paying job because I can't take the pressure anymore. I want to shift to something that's different. I want to start a business. Sometimes that's a good time to, to get some help. Um, if you're entering retirement, that's often when somebody's like, oh, wait a minute, what am I do? <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to do here? Um, if you're buying or selling a home, particularly if you're selling, like when you're having that liquidity event, you go like, well, what do I do with this money now? Um, good to get some advice. Tax advice is really important on that too. So, you know, you can see a certified, um, sorry, a certified public accountant or an enrolled agent. Um, they're both qualified to, with, to help with those things. Uh, if you receive an inheritance, that's another reason you might need some help um, or another financial windfall, like you win the lottery or a lawsuit or something. Um, so, you know, sometimes you get asked for help, but there's a lot of ways to do things for yourself. Um, yeah, and so, you know, and I also like say like tax and legal advice, those are really important things. I personally, as a certified financial planner, I have knowledge of these things, but I always defer to the tax advisor. I always defer to the attorney since those are, I'm not qualified to provide tax or legal advice.